And the title is not on the line, but the champion looks as ready as ever. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had written this competitor off from pretty much jump, but their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. Well, we all know it, Corey. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. And Joe Gacy is clearly looking for a sacrifice here tonight. He once offered the locker room a chance at inclusivity, a chance of belonging. But once he realized just how little his fellow superstars appreciated him and what he was offering, he vowed to instead be divisive. And whether you like it or not, Gacy has been extremely successful in that endeavor. The device of Gacy getting a taste of how the locker room really feels about him in there. He planned for this and could still rally. Ooh! Oh, and Siguri. Week in and week out, we see that Joe Gacy is a man on a mission. And there's no better place to prove said point in WWE than right there in that ring. Gacy needs to treat this and every match like it's a part of his mission. To wrestle with the type of righteous authority that we know is inside of him. That's quite a way of saying he needs to shut up and wrestle, Corey. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Super kick! From behind, nasty. Ooh! Ooh, a hard impact in the corner. Uh oh, not a good place to be! Series of kicks in the corner. Yeah, humiliation. You could feel the resentment building with each stomp there. The final cut! Perfectly executed. Is it enough? The cover! It's over. It's and that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Zach Anna. Joe Gacy failing to get the win here. There's no telling what the ramifications of this match will be, but I can't see the wheels turning for Gacy already.